This video is part of a series on graphing data like the superstar that you are. Part the second, the four golden rules of graphing scatter plots with a line of best fit. Try saying that five times fast, go on, I dare you. Take up at least two thirds of the number plane. Try to get as many points as possible as close to the line of best fit as possible, remembering that your points don't actually have to go through the line. Always, 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 always plot the average when you have replicates. And a caveat to this rule is that you must always have replicates. The independent variable is plot on the x-axis and the dependent variable is plot on the y-axis. This graph here is not following this rule. Bom, bom. Which of these two graphs do you think is the best representation of data? Remembering the points don't actually have to go through the line. In this data table, we have three trials, three pot plants, and then an average is calculated. When we calculate an average, we're able to actually ignore the outlier if we know something funny happened there. Look what an outlier does here. It doesn't follow the trend of the data. Which columns in this data table are we going to actually plot? But which one's the dependent variable and which one's the independent variable? Well, it's because the height of the plant depends on how long it's had to grow. Pop quiz time! Which one isn't a golden rule of graphing that we've just gone through? A. Your line of best fit goes through all the data. B. The x-axis is where you plot the independent variable. C. Use up the majority of the number plane. Or D. Plot the average value of your triplicates. That's the wrong one. And how do you remember? Just remember Chill Charlie. His motto is, when drawn a trend line fella, just go with the flow, be mellow. You'll hit the spot if you groove with the dot. Stay curious.